Here we have a bearings question involving some problem solving. The question says the diagram shows the positions of three towns, Harston, Iden and Jaywick. Here we have the diagram and it says Iden is 5 kilometres from Harston on bearing of 107 degrees. Jaywick is 7 kilometres from Iden on bearing of 144 degrees. Find the bearing of Jaywick from Harston. Give your answer correct to one decimal place you must show all your working. So notice this information here is already marked. We have that distance of 5 kilometres. Uh, and the letters, each you know point is given a letter. This is Iden, this is Harston, this is Jaywick. So Jaywick is seven kilometers from Iden, and Iden is five kilometers from Harston, and the bearings are marked there as well. And we are looking for the bearing of Jaywick from Harston. So Jaywick is down here, Harston is up here, and what you want to first do is draw a line between these two points because the bearing of Jaywick from Harston is the angle in here. So from north, you go around until we get to this line and it will be that entire angle. Now what we're missing is this part in here. So really the entire question is asking, find this angle in this triangle. So let's call that theta. This is our unknown that we're going to be looking for in order to find the bearing of Jaywick from Harston. And to find that angle, usually what you're going to use in these types of questions is either the cosine rule or the sine rule. Um, so before we decide which one we're going to use, let's fill in some of the information. Uh, there's some gaps here that we can fill just from the information in the question. So the first thing we can find is this angle uh, between these two lines. Uh, because the lines pointing north are parallel, they're always parallel, they're pointing in the same direction, and these two angles are co-interior. That means they add up to 180 degrees. That's something you need to know about parallel lines. So this angle is going to be 180 degrees, subtract 107 degrees. If you do that calculation, it is 73 degrees. And then we can also find this angle in here. Okay, so you notice we have a triangle here. And to find this angle, it's useful to find the angles, the other angles in this triangle. Now we're probably not going to be able to find this one, but we can figure this one out because angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. So to work out this angle, you can do 360. So let's just write some working out. So this angle in here is going to be 360, subtract the other two angles around that point. So 360 take 144, take 73 and get your calculator out. This is a calculated question. Put this into your calculator, 360 take 144 take 73, and you should get 143. So this angle in here is 143 degrees. Okay, and you could also find this angle down here, but it's not going to help you really because it doesn't allow you to find this angle in here. It doesn't help you at all. So we might as well ignore that angle in there. And now you need to think, now is the time to think, is this the cosine rule or the sine rule or how can I figure out this missing angle? And looking at this triangle, we have two sides and an angle between it. That indicates you need the cosine rule. Uh, the cosine rule will allow you to calculate this side, the length of this side, and then you can go from there. So let's firstly write down the cosine rule. That says a squared equals b squared plus c squared, take 2bc cosine a, where a represents the side opposite the angle that you're using, and b and c are the adjacent sides of that angle. So then a in this case will be hj, this length. So let's write down hj squared equals b squared, B and C can be either of these lengths. It doesn't matter which way you put them around. So let's just say B is five squared. So that length, five kilometers, plus C squared. That's this length, seven kilometers. So seven squared, take two times B is five. C is seven. And then cosine of this angle in between those two sides. So 143. Once you plug all those numbers into the equation, go ahead and plug it into your calculator. So actually let's get our calculators out then. Obviously your calculator will look different to mine, but it can do all the same things as this one. Plug those numbers in. So five squared plus seven squared, take two times five times seven, 
multiplied by the cosine of 143 equals, and then remember to take the square root because this is hj squared. So hj will equal the square root of this number. Um, now you could do that all in one step. I prefer to plug that in first, then take the square root of the answer. I just find it easier to enter in the calculator. So take the square root of that answer and I get 11.39756491. So I'd write down that whole number uh, and also keep it on your calculator because you can use it again in the next calculation, but write down all of the decimals. So 3975649. All right, so we have this length of HJ now, 11.397 and so on. And now reevaluate the problem. Remember what you're looking for. You're looking for this angle in here. How can we find that angle now? Well, we can use the sine rule because now we have all of the sides of the triangle and one angle in that triangle. That indicates you can use the sine rule. Uh, so we can say the sine of that angle, sine of theta over its opposite side of seven equals the sine of 143 over its opposite side, which is the answer we just got. So 11.3 nine, seven, and so on. Um, okay, so then we can say sine of theta equals seven times this. Uh, so all of that, okay, so let's just write it in. I'm just sick of writing all the numbers down, but okay, I'm being a bit lazy. And then we can say the angle is the inverse sine of all of this. Okay, all right, so let's enter that into the calculator now. So the inverse sine of seven, now be careful with your brackets. I would put brackets around all of this in those, uh, sorry, all of this, and then that in brackets as well, or use your fraction button on your calculator. That will also make it easier. So bracket uh, sine of 143 divided by our previous answer. So use the answer key on your calculator rather than entering all that, make it a bit quicker. And then I need another set of brackets there and that should give me my answer. So I get an answer here of 21.6918. So theta equals 21.6918. And now that's not our final answer, remember, because we're looking for the bearing of Jason from Harston. That is that entire angle. So we need to remember to add that on to 107. So our bearing of Jaywick from Harston will be 107 plus this answer, 21.6918. And uh, add that on. I get 128.69 and we needed that to one decimal place. We need to round that six up because the next number is more than five. So that's going to round up to seven. So my final answer here is 128, 128.7 degrees. And we don't need to put a zero at the front. If it was two digits, remember to put a zero, but because it's three digits in that bearing, we can leave that as is, and that should be fine for a final answer there. So that is an example of a problem solving question involving bearings.